what's going on guys today i'm going to be showing you how to use normal maps in your game or animation uh whichever so uh in blender 2.5 i guess uh we're just gonna have this cube we're gonna make it we're gonna bake normal maps on this we're gonna create a higher quality version and bake normal maps on it and then uh i will show you how to use normal maps in the material tab so uh let's just go ahead here uh click tab to go to edit mode and just drag this down, make this a bit larger. We're just going to unwrap this cube uh, so we can set up our uh, texture, which will become the normal map later on. So go to edge selection, select those edges over here. Uh, you could unwrap it the way you want as long as no faces overlap. Uh, I'm just going to unwrap it <coughs> in a standard fashion. Um, Control E to mark seams. Uh, select all by just double clicking A until it selects everything. You unwrap. So here I just uh, laid out the cube neatly. You can, as I said, you don't have to follow my method. Uh, you could just unwrap it the way you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, now we want a new image because something has a normal. The normal map has to ha has to be saved on something. So we're gonna create an image. We're gonna call this cube normal. Um, it's fine uh, like this. Okay, so just hit OK after you name it. Um, now what you want to do is make sure that this is on it, of, of course. You want to make sure that the cube is unwrapped on this normal map, uh, nor, uh, on this texture. Right now it's still a texture. Now what you want to do is Shift D, create a second uh, instance of that cube, uh, and go to edit mode. Press tab to go to edit mode. This is going to be the high poly version. This uh, is what's going to have the extra bumps and all the extra details and then we're going to transfer it to this so that it looks this uh, fakes uh, so that the normal map fakes bumps uh, yeah so basically the normal map would fake bumps it would actually behave uh, realistically uh, as if there are actual bumps so we'll, I'll just show you that uh, once we make our normal map so just hit tab and W to subdivide keep subdividing it uh, and keep in mind that some computers are slower than others, so uh, uh, you don't want to make it way too detailed. Let me just see. Let's add a bit more detail to that. All right. Okay, now I think that's a bit too detailed. Let me reduce it. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go to sculpt mode. Uh, so we're just going to use the sculpting tool to edit the to edit the cube. So let's just uh, subtract, you know, just create random uh, textures, random designs, whatever you want. Yeah, just uh, random radius. Do whatever you want. It just don't make it way too extreme because then it would look uh, it would look weird. Alright, so I created some uh, pretty bad bumps here. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. Now what you want to do is move the cube so that it's the high poly cube, so that it's on the same position as the low poly cube. So how you would apply this in your uh, normal models, for example, if you create a gun for a first person shooter or a character, you would make the low poly, you would unwrap the low poly, and then you would shift D and create the high poly. So basically just shift D and go into edit mode and add the details you want. I wouldn't recommend sculpt mode for guns or characters because it then turn it turns out to be way too detailed in sculpt. Uh, so we're gonna get back to our cube here. Uh, make sure this is on zero. You notice that the original low poly cube is in the position zero so you want to make sure that this is all zero as well uh, in the center of the grid. Uh, now let's just set up our texture real quick here. Go to the materials tab Okay, so this has a material. I'm just going to increase the intensity. Go to your textures right beside the materials tab. Uh, let's change this to normal. Now, there's no texture right now applied, so you want to change this to image or movie, the type of texture. Uh, the type of uh, texture you want to change it to image or movie. Go down where you find image. Select our cube normal, the texture we just created. And now you want to go down um, to image sam image uh, no mapping. Okay. And you want to use UV. What this does is it, by default, Blender uses its own unwrapping uh, for textures. You want to change this to UV to tell Blender that 
to unwrap it the way you unwrapped it before, right? So it's just going to follow this layout instead of uh, Blender's uh, own generated layout. All right, so we're just going to leave it at that. We're going to go uh, change Blender game to Blender render so that we can have access to the rendering features uh, down here. You notice that like, what we need here is the bake option. We don't have that in Blender game. It's not there. So you want to make sure you're on Blender Render over here. Even if even even if you're going to be doing a game, you need this to bake the texture, the normal map. Sorry. Uh, so now you want to check Select to Active, Select to to Active, and the distance is zero because there is no distance between them. So this is why you had to move it in the same into the same spot to move the high poly into the same spot as the low poly, because when you bake, Blender has to calculate the distance if there is any distance. So just to make sure that everything is fine, you don't want to uh, you want to have zero distance, and that's why we reset the location uh, of the high poly to match the low poly. So uh, that's what the distance is for. That's why we returned it to its original spot. And now the next thing you want to do is you see that it's selected to active. The active uh, object is the one you selected last. So now we're going to go ahead and select our high poly. Just move it. G to move, grab, that's what it stands for. And now we have our high poly selected. So this is the selected. Now shift, right click on the same spot. So now you selected the low, uh, the low poly version of the cube. So now the active is the low poly version of the cube because we selected that last. So this is how you know which uh, object is uh, active. Okay, so now we, ch we want to change the bake mode from full render to normals. So you can see that you can change uh, the bake mode to textures, ambience, whatever you know. Uh, what we want is normals. You want to keep that as tangent, the normal space. Uh, okay, so now our baking settings are set up. All you have to do is hit the bake button. And now notice how the texture will change. You can see created. It should create a blue, uh, a blue image, with the bumps and the patterns you created. Uh, now at this point, after this is uh, baked completely. Uh, if you want, you can pack the image. Uh, this saves it in the blender, the blend file, so that it's not lost. At this point, once you have your normal map, you don't need the high poly. You can just X delete it. Uh, now we'll get back to materials. You can switch to game now, blender game. Uh, in the normal maps only work in GLSL, so you want to make sure that GLSL is enabled. And you want to go to textures, back to textures over here. And you want to check, you notice that if you go to textured mode, Alt-Z is the hotkey, or you can just switch from here you will notice that the normal map appears as a texture. Now obviously as a normal map you don't want it to affect uh, the color of the cube because you want to have your a different texture. You don't want to use a normal map as a texture and it doesn't look very good either. So uh, what you want to do is deselect in the diffuse here, influence, under influence. Uh, you'll notice that under diffuse color is checked. You want to uncheck that. Now it doesn't affect the color of the cube. You want to go over here to image sampling and check normal map. So this enables this texture, uh, the texture you have right here, uh, to be displayed as a normal map. And now you want to go down. You had color checked over there and we unchecked it. So you want to check in geometry, you want to check normal. So now what it does is it makes this texture a normal map, uses it as a normal map. So now you notice that the bumps are there. And the advantage of normal maps uh, as opposed to baked lighting and uh, you know those effects is it behaves in real time so even though our cube still has six faces uh, and there you don't see the bumps from a distance it appears as if the bump is actually there and if you move the light you notice that it's affected as if it's an actual bump so this is what normal masks do they fake details uh, which would uh, be very uh, which would slow down your game significantly so you just use a normal map and uh, yeah it, it just works fine uh, pretty much every AAA game that's uh, very realistic at this time uses normal maps so uh, it's not it's not it's not and this is not cheating in fact cheating if you're gonna cheat on an effect or something make it uh, you know use a cheap way to fake something there's nothing wrong with that because you know the better the results are going to be, the easier to get the, those results, uh, the better it would be. Uh, you want to improve the performance of your game, and that's what normal maps are for, you know, to improve the performance, uh, and give it more detail. So this is how you use normal maps. As I said, you might want to pack it, uh, 
in the blend file just so it's not lost. Uh, yeah, this is how you create normal maps. You can apply the same method to high poly models. Uh, I've actually just recently tested this out with uh, a very detailed gun that I created, a sci-fi gun. So yeah, it works perfectly fine. It creates the details you want. You can see it looks very, uh, it looks like it's it's a hole in there. But if you you notice that if you look from the side, you don't actually see a bump. So you want to be careful when you use bump maps that it's not so obvious to the player that the bump isn't actually there. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have, if you have, if you want, if you want me to make any tutorials, then just post a comment, and I'll see, I'll see if I can uh, make that. It depends on how uh, difficult it would be. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.